Hi, everybody. Great being here. Uh, I'm Uzi Sheffer. I'm the general manager of, uh, of uh, SOSA in Israel. It's great being here. And in the next session, I will uh, uh, share with you uh, some information about SOSA, what it is, the role it plays in the local uh, high-tech ecosystem, and the way we operate. So, yeah. SOSA, in one phrase, it's a platform that connects innovators. It's a place that uh, brings together the different stakeholders in the tech ecosystem. These are uh, entrepreneurs or technology companies, investors, and the consumers of innovation or uh, global, the different global entities who are looking to engage with, uh, with technologies. These are uh, usually global corporations, but also other global entities. And the background for understanding SOSA and the way it operates uh, are the special characteristics of the Israeli tech ecosystem. Now, we, word, we heard from, uh, uh, from Dr. Uh, Eric Zimmerman a little bit about the ecosystem and the Israeli entrepreneur, but I'll just go briefly um, about the structure of the high-tech industry. So, it's quite a large innovation hub in terms of uh, numbers with over 6,000 active startups and about uh, 12 to 1,400 new startups every year with a few hundreds of uh, professional investors, VCs, microfounds, angel investors, um, 25 incubators, most of them government-backed, uh, by the way. It's, uh, the government has been helping, encouraging, and stimulating the, uh, um, this industry um, for many years, providing the funds and the financing for this very uh, difficult and dangerous first part of early-stage uh, startups. Um, Dozens of accelerators, um, private VC accelerators, private accelerators, corporate accelerators, tech transfer offices, uh, more than 350 multinational companies, um, which traditionally, when global corporations came to Israel, they usually either acquired a company or opened, established an R&D center. And what we see today are more and more T1, T2 global corporations coming to Israel and establishing their presence around their need to engage with technology and innovation uh, with very lean structures and infrastructures, very uh, results and business and, and results oriented uh, programs. Uh, so that's the Israeli ecosystem and that was also the background for founding SOSA. Now about three years ago, these guys came together um, and these are the pioneers and the leaders. These are the people who built the high tech industry in Israel. Um, some famous names, maybe some of you know some of them, Chemi Peres and Rami Bracha. These are all managing partners of the biggest Israeli VCs, uh, angel investors, serial entrepreneurs, top executives. Uh, some of them, by the way, from competing entities, which is also a special characteristic. We call it competition. So there is competition, but there is also a lot of cooperation. And, and they came together and founded SOSA. And the reason was that they said, hey, we have a great industry, uh, thousands of players, a lot of things going on, uh, VC money, everything is okay, but there is a problem. There is a lot of inefficiency, a lot of peer-to-peer -peer communication. Let's create a place where the entire industry can come and do business. So technology is great, but business is still done between people. And it's like 100 years ago, uh, when people would go uh, to the village square to do business, it's the same today. And that was the vision. Um, it's like the chief minister said that the task or the key to success is connecting the dots and bringing the different stakeholders to one place. So that, that exactly was the vision about three years ago uh, when we opened the door. And the result was, uh, uh, was a unique network and members club with over 400 uh, members and partners with an aggregated portfolio of uh, more than 2,500 uh, startups and technologies where our team of business development people and analysts curate thousands of business interactions per year and accept also a lot of global delegations. So our activity a little bit in more detailed and, and structured way, and we can look at it uh, in layers. So the basic layer is a physical space for uh, selected startups who have to be accepted and for global innovators, investors, global corporations. That's the basic layer. Startups are uh, usually accepted to stay six to nine months. And during that time, we actively work with them on their projects, connecting them to investors, um, mentoring them, preparing them, to preparing them for uh, the go-to-market phase, 
and connecting them to global corporations or the market. The second layer, and that's the heart of SOSA, is a unique members club, where a big part of the active investors in Israel are members at SOSA. Now, they take part in the monthly activities, mentoring the startups, getting exposed to new technologies, mentoring them. They're also exposing their portfolio companies to our team. And in return, we create business opportunities for their portfolio companies. So that's uh, mutual value creation. Now, based on these basic layers, which is the space, the hubs, the technologies, and the unique network, we got to corporate innovation, which is our core business. So it was said already uh, a few times today, it's no secret that uh, practically every traditional industry is currently either being disrupted or will be disrupted, maybe in a year, maybe in two years, maybe in five years. And that's true for automotive, uh, for banks, for insurance, of course, who have to insure new risks on which they don't have historical data, such as cybersecurity, hacking into cars, defending against drones, um, and so on, energy companies. And a lot of these companies uh, come to Israel because Israel has positioned itself um, as a destination for uh, innovation and for technology. And for them, we serve as a one-stop shop to support their open innovation programs, meaning that we host the program, including management, and we actively look for technology solutions according to their strategy and brief. We're, our, our people are actually part of the corporate innovation team. These are yearly programs uh, with very tangible KPIs and goals uh, to get to POCs and integration of advanced technologies into their line of products. So that's our corporate innovation activity. Now the next layer are vertical-based innovation programs. These are programs that are owned by SOSA. We run them. We currently run programs for FinTech, InsurTech, uh, construction, homeland security, and travel tech. And these are multiple uh, yearly programs that are focused on specific verticals where we invite corporates to be direct partners of this program, uh, enabling them to have uh, direct access and first access to the deal flow on the different verticals. And on top of the pyramid is our uh, global network and our activity of connecting ecosystems. So we've just launched uh, SOSA New York uh, about a year ago and we're working with partners around the world to connect ecosystems. We have partners in, uh, we have a partnership with the government of Australia, and we are hosting and supporting the Australian landing pad in Tel Aviv. It's located at SOSA. We have a partnership with the city of Cologne. Uh, we have a partnership with, uh, uh, with I partners from uh, South Africa, and, and we are looking to connect to additional ecosystems as well. And needless to say, uh, as also uh, the background for my visit here, which, by the way, is not the first one, and I love coming here, um, that we are very keen uh, to launch and to create the bridge between the ecosystem in Israel and the ecosystem here in, uh, in Mumbai, in Maharashtra. And, and we see a lot of uh, synergy, both on the business side, business case side, straightforward supply and demand, uh, but also on the cultural level, uh, which makes it a natural fit. So when we build the bridges and when we connect uh, ecosystems and hubs around the world, there are a few activities that, uh, uh, that we do. The first one is the positioning. It's v as a first step, uh, it's very important to communicate to the industry in Israel and to the ecosystem about our partners, wh what it's about, the opportunity, the challenges, uh, the value proposition, and that, that's the first phase. Based on that, we actively create the deal flow. So that's active curated work of our analysts based on the strategy to bring to the table uh, the right technologies or the right players or channels in the ecosystem with our global partner. We also serve as a landing pad and, uh, and support for startups. Um, we curate introductions to industry leaders. So connecting ecosystem starts with connecting the leaders and, and the top executive from both sides. And this is done by us through our platform. We run corporate innovation programs. I'll, I'll speak about that for, uh, for a minute. From what we see uh, with our work um, in the last couple of years with global corporations, is uh, we usually launch the program, and after a few months they tell us, listen guys, that's great, we are very happy, we're happy with the quality of deal flow and, and type of technologies that we see in Israel, 
but we have a problem. And the problem is on our side. Because we are a big organization, we don't know how to work with startups, we don't know how to work in a pace which is relevant for early stage startups. If it's fast prototyping, that should take two or three months and not a year and a half. If it's procurement, legal, HR. If it's uh, budgets from the different business units, we have to be allocated to run pilots with new technologies. And so we come at a point where we uh, usually, after six to nine months, we will support them with corporate training for innovation from top management, two, three, four days innovation seminars uh, up to mid-level management training the champions within the organization who will then engage uh, with the technologies. And eventually our partners around the world become part of a global network. So when we speak today, when, when we speak about creating, uh, um, to implementing the SOSA model around the world, basically it has three goals. The first goal is to serve as a landing pad for Israeli startups, or Israeli technologies that we will uh, um, uh, curate uh, the connection with. The second goal is to implement the SOSA model locally. So being a hub that will bring the local ecosystem to one place and stimulate the industry, bring uh, the entrepreneurs, the money, the investors, and the demand side to one place. And the third goal is to connect our fellow ecosystem to our global network, sharing both demand and supply all around the world because value and change uh, doesn't go one way, it always goes uh, both ways. So a few, uh, a few logos, a few uh, examples of uh, the members in our platform. So we have the biggest uh, Israeli VCs, but also small ones and micro funds and angel investors and some uh, uh, global corporations, Deutsche Telekom, Singtel, Orange Fab from France, uh, corporate venture, Intel Capital, Qualcomm Ventures. These are some of the members on the platform with whom we work. And these are our uh, global partners. So we have a partnership with the uh, government of Australia, um, hosting the Australian landing pad and connecting the stakeholders from the ecosystems to the Israeli industry. Uh, Yao Japan, which are investors, uh, of course, um, uh, Delivering Change, which just launched our uh, partnership a couple of months ago. And we're looking forward to really building this bridge between the ecosystems, Enel. Enel is the largest European energy company. We've launched, uh, seven months ago, we've launched their open innovation platform at SOSA with a place, the, the management and the active work of looking for technologies that will take their business to, to integrate into their line of products. And needless to say that, well, like uh, uh, many other traditional industries, the energy uh, industry is, is one that is going to, to change uh, dramatically. Um, we work with Siemens as well. We have a partnership with the city of Cologne, connecting uh, the amazing and, and huge industry from the area of Cologne with technologies uh, from Israel as a first stage of building the local ecosystem over there as well. Munichry, which is the largest reinsurer in the world, um, and Zurich Insurance and Bertelsmann. So, Thank you for your time. That was SOSA. Please feel free to reach out at the breakout sessions.